Hello and welcome to Postman Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will write our first test in Postman. So in last couple of tutorials, what we have seen is the Postman setup and then the basic CRUD operations and understood a lot about the functionality of the Postman and how you will navigate through the Postman. Now, this tutorial will cover your first manual test case in postman and then in future we'll try to extend these test cases and uh, formulate the more advanced test cases and automate those test cases now in postman to start with the test case so we'll uh, pick a request here so we'll say pick get workspaces right which is a get request to get the workspaces so if you send this request you will get a response that uh, is a json response and it provides the details of the workspaces that are present in my account now you will see the status 200 okay so let's go ahead and see the test results so there are no tests for this request right because we haven't writ written any tests yet now to start your test case in postman you need to go to the tests tab here and here you will see that now in this section here you can start writing your test cases now postman test case starts with pm.test function and before we get into details of that function let's use the snippets that are present in the right hand side already and use these to write our first test case so what we'll do is we'll just use a snippet status code code is 200 right so if you click on this it will bring on the whole code that is required to test the status code code is 200 or not okay so now here if you see pm.test is the function that is used to write test cases in postman and pm.test uh, accepts two parameters the first parameter is the name of your test so anything in this quotes here is the name of the test so what is the test name it says status code is 200 and you can give any name that you want in these two quotes here and then comma and the other uh, argument is or the parameter is a function which returns a boolean value so this is the function and then this pm dot response is the object which contains all the details of the response and then what we are doing is on this object we are checking to have status 200 right so don't worry about the details of this pm.test function as of now yet because there are a lot of snippets that will be available and then we'll also cover these tests a lot more detail in future upcoming tutorial so for this tutorial just remember that any test in postman starts with pm.test function which accepts two uh, parameters first one is the name of the test and the second one is the function which returns a boolean value of true or false so if the response this object or the response that we are sending here as part of the get request has the status of 200 then it will return a true and that means the test case has passed if the response doesn't have the value or the status code as 200 then the test will fail so this is very simple test case in postman now let's try to run this test again and see how it returns or how it looks on the postman so i'll send this request again and we'll see in the test results now it has turned to pass or green and the status code was received as 200 okay now if we are expecting another test uh, another status code say for example i want to fail this test case and see how it returns or how the test results look like right so i have changed the status code to 200 here and sending the request again 
and now you will see status code is 200 assertion error expected response to have status code 201 but got 200 right because in this particular test method um, a test function what we have done is we have we were expecting the status code as 201 but in the response we are getting 200 okay so that's how you will start writing your test case in postman and this is very basic simple test case in postman which is verifying that the response um, code or the response status of this particular request is 200 okay now in the snippets you have lot of other snippets that are available which will be helpful for example setting a global variable or getting a global variable or getting any other variable then you will see that there are response body contains string so for example if you use this snippet here it will verify that the response body contains the text inside that particular response so all these snippets will be utilizing wherever required however you can very easily write your test case in postman once we go ahead with further tutorials and uh, start uh, understanding a, lot, a bit more about these pm.test function in postman so in this right hand side you can if you don't want snippets to appear all the time you just toggle it and the snippets will go away and you'll have more space here to document your test cases so that's pretty much all about your first test case in postman hope you like the tutorial please do like share and subscribe and thank you for watching